Sabi ng marami, Xiaomi number one, and a lot of people can attest to that. A lot of people have been buying Xiaomi devices here in the Philippines. And there is one particular product that they're currently promoting right now, and that is actually the Xiaomi Mi 9T. Perhaps nakita nyo si Eman Tortosa uh, during their live video with Xiaomi, and they discussed about this new product that they have right now. In other countries, this is also known as the K20, but uh, they said that there's a K20 Pro, and some people are kind of reacting to that, na sana yun ang sa Pilipinas. But wait, no? Dito sa Pilipinas, they decided to bring in Mi 90 or the K20 because there is a product that we have right here that kind of matches the K20 Pro, which is, you know, Mi 9. So, what we're gonna do today is we're going to unbox the Xiaomi Mi 90 in Glacier Blue, 6 gig of RAM and 64 gig of internal storage. So, what are we waiting for? Alright, so uh, this is uh, the Xiaomi Mi 90 box and as I mentioned earlier, we're unboxing a Glacier Blue version with 6GB RAM and 64GB of uh, internal storage. So uh, we'll go, let's go ahead and unbox this. Yeah, and gawin na natin to. Yeah. natin binuksan. Uh. Alright, so uh, now that the plastic is off, let's now remove this from... Uh, it's box. Couple of things that you need to know about this. Uh, I mentioned this earlier, but uh, this one, it is also known as K20 in other countries. I think uh, Philippines is one of the countries na ang pangalan niya is Mi 90. Um, sa ibang bansa, there is another variant which is the K20 Pro and uh, they, we, don't have it, we don't have it here in the Philippines. So there's a smaller box right here. And inside the smaller box, we have a SIM ejector tool right there, as you can see. All right, and uh, inside uh, is, of course, we have the uh, user guide. User guide. Meron din tayo dito ng uh, warranty card. There is an included um, case. Uh, oh, so this one is, uh, I think, I don't know material na ginamit dito, but this one is really plastic. Plastic yung material niya. And what else do we have right here? Of course, we have the phone. This is the Glacier Blue version. Wow, the Glacier Blue version. Ang, ang, ang ganda ng kulay niya. Ito yung, ito yung pagkakaalam ko talaga na K20. Because yung mga lumalabas na mga uh, promotional images ng K20 before, ito yung pinapakita nila. Right? Ito yung pinapakita. And it really looks different as you can see right here. It looks really nice, no? as you can see here on the other camera. But we'll get onto the phone later on, okay? Later on. What else do we have right here? We have uh, the uh, micro, oh, no, Type-C cable. Type-C cable, kasama yan. There is also even a uh, charger. And uh, I would think that this charger is fast charging. That's something that we need to clarify with uh, Xiaomi. That's pretty much everything. So we have, of course, the SIM ejector tool. We have the free case. We have also the uh, manual and warranty card, the charger, Type-C cable, and that's pretty much everything uh, inside the box of the Mi 90. Now, a uh, few things that we need to know right off the bat. Mi 90 is powered by 48 megapixel AI rear triple camera with a 20 megapixel pop-up selfie camera. Yeah, pop-up selfie. One of the cool things about the selfie camera is that meron siyang parang ilo on the on the sides so which you can actually change um this one i'm not sure which color ang default but uh, yung gamit ni Eman which i've seen recently is uh, red yung lumalabas na kulay when it pops up so it has that really cool effect no kapag ka lumalabas siya all right so uh, it also features a 6.39 inch AMOLED FHD plus display with fast in-screen fingerprint sensor. So, uh, yung sensor niya is nasa mismong screen na. So, under display sensor. And a uh, 4,000 milliampere battery with 18 watts fast charge. So, it's confirmed. We just confirmed it that this one is a fast charger. And this one can charge very, very quickly. And also with Qualcomm Snapdragon 730, 8 nanometers uh, processor up to 2.3 uh, 2.2 gigahertz uh, frequency so wow right, so it's it's a beast of a phone and this is something that already crosses into the flagship border but still considered 
a uh, mid-range device because of the fact that it is priced on that level, right? So, wow. So this is the phone. Let's now remove uh, the uh, plastic at the back. Tanayin natin yung plastic sa bawah. Para ma-appreciate na lalo yung ano, yung itsura nung uh, likod niya. How do we remove it? There you go. There's no turning back now. <laughs> There you go. Nice. Ganda. I know. Ganda nyo. Ganda nyo. Wow. So, nagbabago-bago yung itsura niya. So, meron siyang parang, parang crystalline dating nung, nung uh, likod. Para ayaw mong lagyan to ng cover. Eh. Sana meron transparent na cover silang sinama. Para kahit papano, mas, uh, mas labas yung kinang nung, nung device. Uh, I don't think it's a smudge magnet. I don't see any smudges here, and that is the magic of the color of the, this this uh, the, the back panel of the phone. Uh, even if you touch it, um, it does not leave any residue. Um, I think it's really more of a play of uh, of color and material that they used. Kaya hindi nag reflect yung yung uh, fingerprint mo. Tama Parang wala ka makikita. Are you seeing one? Are you seeing one? That looks really nice for a smartphone. Uh, again, this one they say that, I mean they say that this one is 48 megapixel camera. It's uh, it has three cameras as you can see right here at long camera and uh, there is a flash. Oh, a flash yeah. And uh, just at the top of the smartphone, uh, we have of course the pop-up selfie. It is a 20 megapixel pop-up selfie here. And uh, also, we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which is a pretty good addition. So, sa mga meron sa inyo na uh, 3.5 millimeter headphones, uh, this is something that you might want to check out because they're not um, removing that. No, here we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and a microphone uh, just beside it. So, just uh, as you can see right there. Um, sa baba, we have another, I think, another microphone for noise cancellation purposes. And uh, there is, uh, of course, a Type-C port and the SIM, uh, SIM tray. Let's go and check out the SIM tray. Kasi importante rin yun. And uh, speaking of SIM tray, we're looking at um, a uh, dual slot SIM tray, which uh, the other one may be used as uh, your micro SD slot. So... That's pretty neat for for a SIM tray. Anyway, kung gagamit ka ng uh, a memory card, that's up to you. But this one offers 64 gig of internal storage already. But for photographers and videographers and vloggers, uh, so they would prefer you know using the uh, other slot for micro SD card. Okay, so uh, this is uh, the phone. <laughs> <laughs> that one, that one. So, ito yung screen niya. Um, they did not say particularly if this is uh, protected. The screen is protected already, but that is something that we can check out. But one thing is for sure, this one has in-display fingerprint sensor, right? Now, the fact that uh, this one has a pop-up selfie, it kind of really maximizes uh, the uh, screen-to-body ratio of, of the screen. Um, kasi ka, wala nang camera na, wala nang notch eh. So there's no notch here. That is why, you know, you, you, you're, you're given a wider uh, screen uh, to play with. Alright, so this is, uh, the software is uh, MIUI 10 on top of uh, Android 9. Alright, so, whoa, responsive screen. Nice. We don't have a SIM card yet, so we will go and proceed with that later on. Ililipat natin yung SIM natin dito. This is going to be our uh, main driver for the next few uh, days. Look at that. Ooh. That design. Really nice design. Miki nang siya. <laughs> I don't want to copy yet because this is asking me to copy. And uh, we don't want to do that for now. Alam mo, ayoko talaga ilagay yung 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 uh, protector niya. Pero sige, let's let's try to put it on. Okay naman, sleek, but it really covers the, the, the one of the best aspects of this smartphone and I kind of don't want to do that for now. So, for now let's leave it at uh, that na bare. Maganda na wala siyang case. It's asking me to sign in. I'm going to do that later on because I'm going to be taking some sample photos for you guys. Uh, at least here in the studio, we'll do that for now. 
Let me go ahead and uh, get this uh, Spider-Man uh, plushie. It's been a while since I actually used a uh, Xiaomi smartphone and I think this is going to be my first time in many years. Uh, yeah, so a fingerprint. I can now set a fingerprint. So what we're doing right now is we're registering one of our fingerprints. few more and edges now let's go ahead and see later on if okay yung responsiveness niya. done skip proceed choose a theme I want the the darker one let's turn it off and use the uh, oh nice meron siyang ganong animation so let's turn it off for now and oh, mabilis siya mabilis siya Setup complete, MIUI 10, you're ready to rock. So uh, in a matter of uh, what, uh, without going through the signing in, we were done for about, I guess, five minutes or less than that. So, so far, so good. MIUI 10 looks fantastic. Hindi siya ganun ka ingay for a UI. Uh, near stock. Uh, in terms of, uh, oh, there's a new update available for this smartphone it says here introducing customizable lock screen clock sorting principles for wi-fi networks we can download the update oh nice but we're gonna go ahead and do that later on let's just leave it downloading for now and uh, the most important thing is for us to check out the settings because that is also important uh, as i mentioned earlier near stock May mga konti siyang mga features na dinagdag because this is MIUI. Um, but again, knowing Xiaomi, they're really good at optimizing the smartphone and even the software for the smartphone. And uh, we're, you know, we're seeing the same thing here with the uh, Mi 90. Let's uh, go ahead and take some selfies, right? So, tina mo na natin dito yung ano, yung selfie mismo natin. Para at least you know what am I telling you earlier regarding the selfie because when the camera pops up uh may ilo na lalabas doon sana oh there is blue because <laughs> it's glacier blue that kind of really makes sense actually <laughs> but yeah so patayin natin uli siya so may kulay no i don't know though if you can change or customize it even further and i do not know if there's a way for us to actually change it so okay, uh let's go ahead and uh, proceed with uh, taking a selfie Let's go take a selfie. Right. Yeah. Nice. One more. Business shutter. I mean, it, it takes it instantly takes photos. Oh. Let's uh, do this. Okay. Yeah. Bilis. <laughs> Let's switch it. Let's take a photo of Spider-Man right here. Wow! Siyempre, portrait mode meron. Studio lighting. You can even change the studio lighting if you want to. Siyempre, kapag ka portrait mode, it switches to a different uh, camera. There are three cameras right here, and I guess the one we're covering is the one doing 48 megapixel. Not, not this one. But the other lens are actually for depth sensing. Uh, if you want to achieve that blur effect, you know, you don't want the other lens to be obstructed. You can change even the studio lighting and even uh, move further from the subject. Yeah. Depth effect. Oh. What? Okay. I want to move further. There you go. Oh, it extends, extends from f1.0 aperture. Uh, to f16 let me take a photo again at f1.0 come on there you go ayan ito yung tama because uh, the phone is still instructing me was still instructing me to move further away from the subject para mas ma-achieve yung tamang bokeh uh, that uh, I want to achieve ayan Really nice. You're seeing a copy of that here now on the screen. It really looks really good, at least for me. Now for um, 
for portrait ng harap, I can also do it. And even change the aperture level to f1.0 if I want to. Tignan natin kung gano ka accurate yung uh, blur niya. Siyempre, kailangan pakit tayo dun. <laughs> isa pa, isa pa, isa pa, isa pa. Tanggalin ko yung ano kaya. Ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Ganyan tayo. Kailangan makita natin kung gano ka blur yung background. And if the camera or the sensor is able to recognize the subject and isolate it from the background. So, kailangan makita niyo yun. Ayan. Kitang-kita natin minsan like in this particular slot, uh, shot, rather. Um, if we zoom further into the edge, ito yung uh, box ng ating uh, libro dito. This is uh, from Ezra Feraz. Um, medyo, medyo blurred siya ng konti, which is really nice. But it isn't actually too perfect. Uh, but it attempted to achieve um, such level of quality. No? And uh, props to Xiaomi for doing that. No, it's really good. Maganda, maganda, maganda. As you can see right here. Yung uh, isang shot naman dito, uh, this is a shot that I made yung tinaas ko yung aking cap. Um, it did not see the cap. I mean, it blurred the cap, but it retained my hair. So, medyo kulot kasi ako at uh, hindi ako nagsuklay. Kaya ganito yung tsura ko ngayon. Um, so, it is the, the camera sort of isolated my cap. Okay? From me. So, isolated siya. Now, the good thing here is that you can actually even change the blur level. So, kung ayaw mo yung uh, shot na yun, you think that it's imperfect, you can actually change the blur effect and put it down to even to f16.0. Kung gusto mo lumabas lahat yung subject mo. Studio lighting may also be changed and it ranges from various settings like uh, blur, uh, black, no? black yung background, tapos may konting parang streak. You can even change the location of the streak. And then yung parang rainbow effect, you can even move further. At meron siyang effect na really cute right there as you can see. Okay. Lots of things that you can do with this smartphone and I for one am very excited to try everything out. Uh, maraming uh, pwedeng kalaban ito in the market right now. We have of course Huawei Y9 and also we have Reno. And Reno, uh, Oppo Reno, although Yun is more expensive than this one, um, but I think this one can really uh, get into that level as well. There's a pro mode even. So, you can change the uh, white balance. You can change yung uh, kanyang, um, um, I think this is aperture, shutter speed, ISO level, and you can choose which lens you want. Like telephoto ba gusto mo, ultra wide, or wide lang. Since nakita natin yung ultra wide, let us now try to take a photo na ultra wide. This is the photo, and there are several pre presets available. So 1x, and if you tap yung baba, 0.6x, ito yung ultra wide angle. And if you tap naman yung 2x, ito yung telephoto. Let's go ahead and click 0.6. And let's, let me take a photo of the studio. Yeah. So this is the photo of the studio. And let's, let me now use 1x for you to see the difference in terms of distance. And tinaman natin yung 2x. Now, as I do this, I can even change yung um, uh, brightness or rather yung exposure level to even optimize my shots further. <laughs> a lot of things can be done with this smartphone and we're not, we haven't even talked about performance. And uh, in terms of performance, that deserves another video. And I would love to play video or games that I'd like to play on this smartphone. Plenty of games available that I'd like to try out. There's Durango, there's PUBG Mobile. Uh, there is, of course, uh, we have uh, Team, uh, not Team Fight Tactics, Dota Underlords rather, and Auto Chess. And daming pwedeng subukan. And I would love to check it out pretty soon. So, I guess that's it, guys. Ito yung ating uh, unboxing. And uh, first impressions, I guess, with uh, the Mi 9T.
So what do you guys think? Are you going to consider getting the Mi 9T? This is just the unboxing. So maraya pa tayong pag-uusapan when we post our full review. But I would like to ask you guys, kukuha ka ba ng Mi 9T or you'd rather just get a Mi 9 instead? Or baka gusto mong maghintay na lang later in the year when their latest products come out. Again guys, if you haven't subscribed to our page, you might want to do so. Just click that subscribe button and click that notification bell kung may mga bago tayong video. Alam na alam mo na agad kung meron man. And if you haven't liked our Facebook page, this is also the best time to do so. Just click like on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Gadget Pilipinas. Again, maraming salamat. This has been Gian of Gadget Pilipinas. See you soon on our next video.